You guys asked for it, I deliver, guys. Here is my unkillable Amara build that will have you guys laughing at how easy the Maliwang takedown is. Esava, this is Laserbolt, and welcome to today's video, guys. Now, I got a ton of requests for my previous Mo's build, if I could make an Amara, Flak, Insane, Unkillable build, I already have the Flak, we already have the Sane, but today I'm uploading the Mara, so you guys can definitely check it out. Now, this one took me quite a while to put together. Now, I do want to mention one thing, because on my previous video, people were saying, oh, this build, someone made it, someone else made this build. I'm just going to go out and say this. To all the Borderlands content creators, GG's for making the builds. I don't know who to mention, because some people say it's there, some people say it's another one, so... If this is anybody's build, credit goes to you guys. Anyways, back onto the subject at hand. Even though I kind of put the build together myself, but just saying. Let's go. Let's get started and talk about what we have in this build. So this build makes you pretty much unkillable in the sense that if they can't catch you, they can't kill you. So it's just going to be extremely potent and powerful. Let's go ahead and dive into the build and find out what pieces you will need to actually make this work. And what items and gears you will need to actually get this going. Alright, so now let's take a look at the build. Now this build I'm calling the Speedy Gonzalez build because you're going to be running super duper fast. Now, we're going to be using stuff from Brawler, Fist of the Elements, and of course Mystical Assault. Let's get started with Brawler. So for Brawler, we're going to be dumping a total of 3 points into personal space. A Mars weapon shot deals bonus damage based on the distance of her target. Usually for the Maliwang takedown, you will be relatively close to your targets. You're not going to be fighting too much from a distance. So this comes in pretty handy. And once again, the closer you are, the more damage you'll be doing. Next up, guys, we're going to be dumping two points into Clarity. Clarity is going to give us uh, constantly generate our health. The lower our health, the more powerful the regeneration is. So it's going to be very important and make us really tanky. And once you see the whole gear and the synergy of the gear, it'll make perfect sense on why we're picking this one up. Next up, guys, we're picking up five points to arms deal. And what this is going to do, it's going to increase our splash damage and takes reduce splash damage. Really important for the build that we have because that's what makes us extremely potent and powerful. Now, the next thing we're going to be picking up is a total of three more points from mindfulness. Now, mindfulness is extremely important for this build because what mindfulness does, it gives Amara improved shield regeneration delay and movement speed. This is kind of what makes us a speedy Gonzalez, just for the simple fact that this is going to have us going super duper fast. As you guys seen in the intro kind of B-roll that we had there, it's actually pretty fast to how fast we're able to go. Next up, guys, we're going to be getting two points from Helping Hands. Now, we're not spending points. This is coming from our class mod. So just letting you guys know, if you see two points here, it's not because I picked them up. These are strictly from our class mod, and this is going to give us damage reduction. All right, so next up, let's go and take a look at the Fist of the Element Tree. We're going to be dumping a total of five points into Anima. This is just going to allow us to have status effect damage and status effect duration. Action skill and status effect damage is increased by 40%. Really important to be picking this one up. Next up, guys, we're going to be dumping a total of two points into Infusion. What this is going to allow us to do, it's going to convert a portion of the damage dealt by Amara into what her action skill element is currently is then we're also going to be applying one point into steady hand and this is just to give us a little bit of accuracy and weapon handling the weapons we're using right now are not extremely important for weapon handling and accuracy so you know we're just picking up those just because it's always good to at least have one of that then we're going to be dumping a total of five points into tempest now tempest what it's going to do it's going to deal increased elemental damage and shock damage is further increased Right now with the current setup that we have or the current raid, shock damage is really important because you want to be able to knock those shields as quickly as you possibly can. And this is going to allow us to get a boost in that shock damage. Then we're going to be dumping a total of three points into wildfire. This is going to give us the status effect it spreads. So basically what this will do is if you shoot an enemy, there's a possibility that that status effect will spread by to nearby enemies, helping us with that nice little crowd control which should come in handy. Then we're going to be dumping one point into Deep Well. This is just going to increase our magazine size for weapons with elements. And since we're working a lot of weapons with elements, this is, comes in handy. Then we're going to be dumping two points into Catarize. And uh, basically what this is going to do, is going to have Amara trigger an elemental effect on an enemy. When the enemy dies, the enemy explodes. 
deals her a taunted element damage along with any other elements that is currently infected upon the enemy. Once again, guys, we're using this for crowd control. So highly recommend you guys pick this one up. And I that too, but you should pick up three of those. Then we're going to be dumping one point into sustainment. Amara gains life heal whenever she deals elemental damage with her weapon. Because we're going to be doing a lot of elemental damage. We're going to be picking up a lot of lifesteal. And I wish we could dump a little bit more points in here, but we can't because we need to go over to the Mystical Assault Tree and tap into a couple of tree skills right here. So for Mystical Assault, guys, we are going to go with the following. We're going to dump one point into Do Harm. What this is going to do is going to give us our action skills, right? So killing an enemy grants Amara a stack of rush. Activating her action skill consumes all rush stacks for every stack rush consumed. Amara's action skill damage is temporarily increased. Now, we won't be doing too much damage with our action skill. Our, this is just to have it just in case there's an enemy roaming around and we need to you know, become pretty dope. And uh, we'll go ahead and do that. Then we're going to be dumping a total of three points into fast hand. And this is very important because we really want to... The main reason we want to pick this one up is for the reload speed, weapon speed. Uh, those are the main reasons we're picking this one up because we are going to do a lot of weapon swapping as you saw in the video. Next up, guys, we're going to be dumping one point into Violent Tapestry. Once again, applying that rush stack. And for every stack of rush consumed, Amara's status effect chance is temporarily increased, making it really effective. Then we're going to be dumping a total of five points yeah five points into uh alacrity now the reason why we want to dump five points here is pretty much for the reload speed we, we're going to need this a lot guys we're going to be reloading a lot so it's very important to be able to reload as quickly as we can then we're going to be dumping a total of three points into transcend amara gains increased accuracy and critical hit damage that we're not doing this so much for the accuracy aspect even though that's the highest boosted one the main re reason we're doing this is for the critical damage we want to make sure that gets boosted as much as we can. And guys, our last point we're spending in Restless. Amara gains increased action skill cooldown rate because we want to have our skill pretty often. Not, I would say we want to have it within 18 seconds. That's the main goal here that we're trying to achieve. And that pretty much ties the skill tree. Now for stuff that you need to go ahead and pick for our action skill, guys, we're going to go with face slam. And then we're also going to be picking up a blight tiger, which is going to convert our stuff to corrosive. And last but not least, guys, we're going to be picking up soul sap. What this is going to do is that whenever we damage an enemy with our action skill, we're, it's going to return a little bit of health back. So really important, uh, you know, anytime that we can boost our health is really important, especially for this being a unkillable build. It's going to be extremely important. So now that we already took a look at the skill tree, let's talk about our gear. And our gear is quite complex. And before I mention all the gear that we have here on, you know, on the right, what we have here is uh, I do want to give this away to you guys. So if you guys want to get this gear, let's get this video to 200 likes. I think we could do it, guys. Let's get this video to 200 likes. I will upload the save file so you guys can download it just like I did with my most. And a lot of these were extremely excited for that. So... Help me out by get 200 and I'll help you guys out so you guys won't have to farm for all this gear. So here we go. Let's get started. So the first item we have, of course, is the face puncher. Melee attacks have a 25 chance to apply terror to yourself. Really important. We want to make sure we have this here. Even though we could still tinker around with a couple of items here, it's going to help us quite a lot. Next up, guys, we have the Ever Blaster. Now, we have the Ever Blaster with the anointment. After using face slam, weapon damage is increased by 300 for a short period of time. Now, this anointment in particular, it's only helpful if you're doing it after face slam. If you feel that you're not going to be using your face slam that much, you might want to go with a different anointment. So, uh, you know, when you have terror, deal 50% cryo damage. It works almost about the same. This is just going to give you that 300 extra, you know, damage after you use your face slam. Then we have another ever blaster with the same anointment. The reason why I run this one compared to the terror one is because since you could pop possibly go down when you're flying, fighting Wu Tang or Wu Tang, whatever you guys want to call it, I prefer Wu Tang. Uh, when you're fighting him, if you do the face slam at that next additional lob that you do with your weapon or that shot you do with weapon, it's pretty heavy potent, and it, it does help you out get that life seal back. So that's the reason we're running this one. Next, we're running a sellout. And this just has to be a level 26 or lower. Actually, I think 32 is the highest you could go with this one. And the reason we're using this weapon is primarily for a buff. And I'll explain all of that once I get over the gear. 
We'll explain why we're running that and why we need to, you know, how you should be able to play this. All right, so now let's take a look at our shield. Now, for our shield, we're running the Transformer with the Terra effect. Gain health regeneration. The more Terra you have, the higher the bonus. Now, the thing I want you to remember is, uh, remember that flavor text, because I'll explain how we're proccing this almost twice within this build. All right, so now into our class mod, we're going to be running the Spiritual Driver. Now, for those of you who don't know what the Spiritual Driver is, this is a brand new class mod that Omar has and it is extremely extremely really good this is what's going to give us a lot of damage and uh, it kind of helps us out quite a lot so we don't have to be using this quite often but it's very potent i'll explain how all of this works but basically what this does it says whenever amara activates her action skill she applies her action skill element to herself amara's gun damage is increased while moving the quicker she moves the greater the gun damage is now do you guys remember prior to the uh, maliwang takedown when we used to go and kill Grave Lord, we used to go ahead and use the Sellout to burn our feet, and that used to give us extra damage. Well, what this does is that instead of using the Sellout, when we use our action skill, it applies that effect to us, giving us that additional damage. So it's very important. Uh, this one comes with 25 weapon damage, 31 action skill cooldown, and plus 31 shotguns. Since we are going to be using, as you guys see, three shotguns, that's the reason I have this one here. Now, I have another one that has AR damage and another one that has SMG damage. But right now, we're running shotguns. That's where we're rolling with. Next up, guys, we're going to be taking a look at our shield. Now, for the shield, we're running the Victory Rush. And the, the reason why we're running this is because of the flavor text. Deal melee damage, replenish ammo. So every time we shoot our face puncher, we're going to be getting our ammo back for these two weapons, which are the main weapons of the build. If you saw my most build, it's very similar, just with different uh, weapons here. Now, another cool thing about this one, it says kill a badass to trigger victory rush plus 18 movement speed and damage 60 second duration. Really important. This is going to make us go even more faster than we would. And to top it all off, guys, we have our recurring hex. While an action skill end, apply terror to yourself every five seconds. So let me explain why we're running this one and why we're not running something that gives us either more damage or gives us ammo. The reason we're running this is because when we do our action skill, it's going to proc our health regeneration. And since this is the unkillable Omara build, we want that health regen to be procking very often. So for some reason, our health regen is not being procced. We use our action skill. Our action skill is going to give us our health. Now, for some reason, let's say those 18 seconds are back and you do not have your action skill, which it, theoretically you should have it. Then you could go ahead and shoot your face puncher since you'll be shooting it regardless to get ammo back. It's going to apply terror to you and it's going to give you the ammo or the health regen as well. So you're kind of double proccing this because the more terror you have, the higher the bonus. So let's say you use this one and then you use your face puncher. It's going to give you more terror stacks and that more terror stacks is going to give you more health. So now that you guys see the gear, now that you guys see the build, let's talk about how you're going to have to play with this build. All right. So in order for you guys to make this build work, it's very simple, guys. What you want to do is use the sellout to, you know, kind of damage yourself so you could proc that additional damage of your class mod. Once you damage yourself enough, you're going to start running super duper fast, hence the Speedy Gonzalez build idea and concept. Once you guys go ahead and do that, then you're going to be doing a ton of damage. You'll be doing over 300 damage, even more than that, uh, just by applying that status effect. The more that you have it, the more you will be doing. Now, after you did that, what you will want to do is switch over to your Ever Blaster and lob the Ever Blaster to the enemy, and that's going to be doing a ton, a ton of damage. And switching, alternating between Corrosive and Shock will be very effective. If you happen to run out of ammo, switch over to your Face Puncher and shoot the enemy. The way I was running this is I was running around, wasting all my bullets. When my bullets got to like 20 or 30, pulled out the Face Puncher, shot the enemy, got all my bullets back. Then I pulled out the sellout, applied that status effect so I could run super duper fast and the enemy couldn't kill me. And then it's just rinse and repeat over and over and over again. If you guys play this accordingly, if your shields are going down, all you have to do is pull out your ever blaster, the shock element one, throw it at your feet and that will give you your shields completely back and you don't have to worry about dying or going down at all. Once you see your shields depleting, once again, pull out the ever blaster, throw it at your feet your shields are back. For some reason, you done goofed up and you messed up and your shields are down, you're down on health. All you gotta do is use your action skill and that terror effect will kick in 
and you will not need to worry about the health regen because once you have terror your health regen will come back and there you guys have it this is my amaro unkillable build let me know what do you guys think if there's anything you guys would change let me know in the comment section down below don't worry if you guys are playing like for flak or zane i will have you guys completely covered as well but let me know what do you guys think let's get this video to 200 likes if we do i will be uploading the build so you guys don't have to go ahead and farm it thank you guys for watching and i will catch you guys on the next video